Have you ever had a situation in Inkscape where you were trying to cut a stroke to obtain separate lines? Instead, you obtain separate objects? If so, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut a stroke into separate lines and not separate objects. There are two ways to cut the stroke in Inkscape. One involves division and the other one involves cut path. I will show you both in this video. Again, I'm going to create a stroke. To do this, I'm going to click on the circle here and while holding it, I'm going to drag it down and create a circle. If you want to create a perfect circle while you are holding it, click control button and then hold and drag and that will per create a perfectly rounded circle. I'm going to undo this for now. If your circle has the fill in this inside and it looks something like this, let me just uh, click on the selector tool. Um, the simple way to get rid of this is click on the X button here in the corner on the bottom and that gets rid of fill. Now we are going to convert this stroke to a path. To do this, we're going to click on a, while the circle is selected like that, we're going to click on a node tool, which is found here. I'm going to click on it and then click on this button here, which says stroke to path. Click on it. The other way to do it is, I'm going to undo this for now, just to show you. While your circle is selected, go to path and click on stroke to path. And this does the same thing. It creates it converts stroke to a path. How do I know if a stroke has been converted to a path? The simple way is to, while the node tool is selected, look at the nodes. You see that these nodes are shown on both sides of the line and you can manipulate these nodes individually. I'm going to undo this now. Now, I'm going to draw a line crossing this stroke. To do this, I'm going to select a pencil tool, which is found on the left side here, and I'm going to draw a line crossing this circle in two points, here and here. Now, I'm going to go to a selector tool, and while this is selected, I'm going to hold a shift button and click on a circle, to make sure that both objects are selected. Now I'm going to click on a path and click division. Now I'm going to click on the canvas, anywhere on the canvas, and at first you may see that nothing happened. But if you click on individual pieces, you're going to see that they come apart. And this is how you cut a stroke by using convert, convert stroke to path method. Now I'm going to show you a second way of cutting a stroke when no conversion is needed. To do this, let's start with the stroke again. I'm going to click on a circle here and create a stroke, click and drag, just like we did before. Now I'm going to click on pencil tool and draw a line through the circle, cutting in two points. Now I'm going to click on a selector tool and while this line is selected, I'm going to click on shift button and circle to select both objects. There's also another way to do this and I'm going to click on a canvas to show you. Simply click and drag and that will select both objects as well. While both of these are selected, go to path, cut path and I'm going to click on a canvas here to show you. At first, you see that really nothing has happened, but if you click on individual pieces, you're going to see that they come in apart. So this is the second method, how you can cut a stroke in Inkscape. In both methods, we were able to cut a stroke of a line. However, there is a slight difference between these two methods. Let me show you the difference. To, do, to demonstrate the difference, let's click on the node tool here and then let's click on the line. As you can see, you have a node here and you have the nodes at the end. 
So there's one node going within a line, and it's the same thing on the bottom. You have just you have just one node within a line. You can manipulate this node however you like. Now let's look at this at the first method. If you click on a line, you can see that you have nodes on both sides of the line. And you can manipulate them as you wish and create slightly different shapes. Another thing I would like to mention to you is that you can use a pen tool or another object to cut a stroke of a line in Inkscape. You don't have to necessarily use a pencil tool as I showed you in an example. Let me show you. So I'm going to click on the pen tool here and click and double click to release it. And now I'm going to click a selector tool with the shift. I'm going to select a circle, go to path, cut path. And now, as you can see, the stroke has been cut as well. Now let's repeat this while using an object. For this purpose, I'm going to click on a star. And I know it's star because it's highlighted here. I'm going to click and drag. And there is my star. I'm going to click on the selector tool and move this star closer to a circle. So that way it intersects the stroke in two points here and here. And this is where the cut is going to occur. Now, while a shift while holding a shift button, I'm going to select the circle, go to path, cut path, and there is my stroke. One last thing I would like to mention to you is that you can use more than one line or more than one object to cut a stroke. Let me demonstrate it. Uh, let's select pencil and draw a line through a circle. Now I'm going to draw another line going through this circle, just like that. Now I'm going to click on a selector tool and while I'm holding a shift button, I'm going to click on a second line. While both of these lines are selected, go to path and click on combine. Now while these are combined, click shift and select your circle, go to path, and cut path. And now if you're going to deselect this and move the pieces apart, you're going to see that the circle has been cut in the two places where the lines were intersecting the stroke.